this kind of a test. So for you to ensure the book has control, you must make sure that you have a authorization. For example, what is uh, for example in this uh, in this uh, uh, screenshot on the page, if Paraventure, I'm a customer, I'm this is my account number. If I come to this URL and I give my account number, if I change it to random account number, if I can see the details of some other people's account number, so that means that application, the access control is not well defined. So, so how do you eliminate, uh, what are the countermeasures for this open access control? You need to eliminate the direct object reference. You need to replace them with temporary mapping value. You need to leverage on the SAP. Uh, SAP provides support for numeric and random mapping. You need to validate, verify the parameter value and make sure that they are properly formatted. <laughs> so you can, for classwork, I will give you like uh, under one hour. So let's go to the web goods. The web goods lab has uh, the exercise and it also has the the, the solution go through the lab go through the exercise and if you get drunk you can look through the solutions to have a uh to have a uh have an understanding of how this uh, vulnerability can be exploited web is one of the applications uh, developed by the consortium of the contributors in the WAPS and they provided some solutions that can serve as a guide. So there are a lot of tests that can be conducted. You can test for security misconfiguration. Uh, you can test for uh, security misconfiguration like uh, the server well adding. Uh, database well adding, do you use the default accounts? Uh, or how the default account be changed? Do you use the standard parties like a center for internet security guideline to add your server and all of that? So 40 for multi dialects, if I want to see whether the application is not vulnerable to uh, it's, it's not vulnerable to maybe uh directory from NASA. So let's try this. Let's navigate to, through our multi dialect of have not closed it right. So I've not closed my. So let me go back to my lab. I think I found this guy somewhere here. So I think I'll close it right. But I can always open it again. So we are meant to try this right. So this is not nice, as you can see, we can do a tra direct transversal. We can all begin to check all the configuration of parameter for here now. You can see the database name, the web stand, you can see some sensitive uh, configuration parameters. You can go and download uh, some uh, I think I'm more interested in this. So, I look at, I can actually use my DIR poster, directory poster uh, application to do, to, to, to browse through the directory and also to force the directories available. 
on that application. <laughs> Test for sensitive data and exposure actually the application, but the new OAPs, the particular is under the cryptographic uh, failure. So what do you do for this test? Failure to identify sensitive data, failure to identify what places that is sensitive data stored. So sensitive data can be stored anywhere in the file, in the directories, in the log files, like what uh, the demonstration I just did that the application is going to direct traversal. From, from direct traversal, I can go see some sensitive data, like uh, some uh, data discombination of <clears throat> files are stored in plain text, which is not supposed to be. Then we, then we also need to know how to test for common vulnerabilities. As we just scanner with your 